All right, if you would please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background. Okay, I'm Bhante Sati, a, a Buddhist monk from Sri Lanka. Um, <clears throat> my background, I would say I'm just a monk. Uh, I'm a person actually who, who's trying to understand myself. Um, that is interesting to uh, tell to somebody uh, that uh, at the beginning I really did not want to be a monk because I was a seeker and I was seeking about many things and especially mind, how my mind works and um, at the beginning, beginning mean about when I was 14, 13, I started to read some psychology books. So then one of m my friend directed me to, uh, through Buddhist books. And he said, uh, Buddha did not talk about any religions or anything. He talked about human mind. And that makes me to read these books. And uh, the later, when I was 16, I remember my parents asked me, why are you reading these books? I want to be a Buddhist monk. Even though they are Buddhist. Um, they didn't realize what it is. And I think almost everybody is following their own culture. Buddha did not introduce any culture. He just um, shared the teachings, his teachings and his teachings about human mind and how to cultivate mind. So anybody can understand or anybody can cultivate their mind by following these teachings. And that's how I get into this path. Then later I thought, well, why don't I become a monk? That way I really want to become a monk to share these teachings with others. I thought that's the best way to share these teachings with others. And to take people a little bit away from this only cultural practice and let them realize what are they doing and helping them uh, to use this teaching in very this life. Not, not in the future, because I think Buddha's teachings for today, not for the future, it's for right now. And, and also I, I observe there are many people, I mean even though me, I had a lot of worries, I had a lot of anxieties. Then I use these teachings to realize that this is unnecessary worries and unnecessary uh, anxiety. So then I wanted to share this message with others and I thought, well, it's better, better to become a monk and then use my more time and use my time to cultivate myself then share the teachings with everybody else. And how was it that you came to the United States? Well, um, 1999, I was invited by a temple in Michigan. Hmm. So. Uh, they wanted to have a monk who can teach meditation because all the monks can teach meditation and so because most of most of the Buddhist monks they are practicing their their uh, cultural activities so then this temple they wanted to introduce meditation for their community then they invited me to come there uh, so I came 1999 and I was in Michigan uh, until 2003, then, but at the same time I used to travel all over the state to share the teachings of Buddha, and teach meditation and help with meditation um, retreats. So uh, 1999 I was invited by a group in um, Minneapolis to come and teach meditation here. So that's how I ended up in uh, Minnesota. And also I, I realized now there are many monks in Michigan and they can do their jobs over there and why don't I introduce these teachings to some new people. And, and, and so now you have a group here, can you talk a little bit about that, like how often you meet and how many people you meet with usually? And yes. Now in Chen Hassan we meet every Saturday. Minnetonka we meet every Friday. Mankato we meet every Monday. So uh, now I'm living in Mankato, but I'm traveling. I'm traveling around the state 
to share the teachings. And every 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 other week we are meeting in uh, um, still water. Mm -hmm. So uh, anybody can welcome to our meditation classes. We are not talking about Buddhism. We are not talking about any other cultures or anything. We are just sharing the teachings of Buddha. And we are trying to use these teachings with our life. And do you think there are misconceptions about meditation? Do you think a lot of people... Yes. And what would some of those misconceptions be? A lot of people think, uh, lot of people think meditation is belong to some religions. And a lot of people think meditation is part of some religious activities. No. Meditations help to calm ourselves and realize ourselves. So meditation brings benefits to very this lifetime, in this moment. And no matter which what religion you are, that doesn't matter. That's okay. You can practice meditation and have benefits. So this is not a religious activity. And even though I'm a Buddhist monk, I would say um, there's no really a fixed religion called Buddhism. Buddha did not introduce any religion. He just introduced some teachings that people can cultivate them themselves. themselves. Today you see only cultures. You don't see the, the people really who's practicing these teachings. But the meditation is a very practical part you can use to cultivate yourself, to um, maintain peace within your mind. And so, in your perspective, many cultures practice meditation, and the United States would probably be one of those cultures that, as yes. a whole, is not used to doing that, or maybe they don't know the benefits of it. So to That's like my right. students who mm -hmm. maybe have never tried it, what would you say to them about um, the benefits of, of why they maybe should try it or how to go about trying it for the first time. Can you address that? Yes. Um, yeah, I would like to actually uh, say a little more about this. Um, sometimes we don't want to do what really we want to do. <laughs> we are just filling spaces with our life. We are filling spaces uh, with our daily life. And we are doing that because of, because we are seeking pleasure, and we, we want to make us happy all the time. But we nobody is seeking a permanent happiness or something like that. And nobody, well, there are few, but um, but normally there is no urge to do this. But only few things their life and value their life then they gradually thinking, what am I doing? So, they might introduce meditation to their life. Best thing is, you can observe your breath. By observing your breath, you can come back to you. And without thinking anything, just observe your breath a few seconds. It will help you to come back to you. And another thing, those people go to meditation sometimes. But unfortunately, there are a lot of meditation techniques which is really misleading us mm. in this state. That is very sad to say there are many, because I have seen m many meditation books, I have seen many teachers who are really misleading. Because this is the thing, these days the meditation has become a huge business. Mm. To it. And then that way they are trying to sell the meditation what they think. So that's a bad part of that. So then those people who really want to do this, then they they are ending up at a bad place. Getting caught up in the consumerism and, and right. maybe not in the right message. 